want this tip of the iceberg slide, which by the way was handcrafted by SlideCow, meaning it is 100% customizable for absolutely free, then please do us a favor. Click on the first link in our description and sign up to our mailing list for tons of updates and exclusive content. Your welcome email to our mailing list will consist of a download link for the slide. Also, if you have Facebook, please go to facebook.com slash slidecow and follow our page. Thanks guys. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. I know my voice sounds weird this week. I'm sorry, I just have a cold, that's all. But that won't stop me from helping you off your PowerPoint game. This week's video is process oriented. We are going to create an awesome, sleek and pretty effective roadmap on PowerPoint. The idea is to generally allow the audience to follow your trail from left to right. They use the combination of numbers, colors and icons to associate the information to the stage of the roadmap. Don't underestimate this technique. It's really effective because it allows your audience to pace themselves as they absorb the amounts of information one stage at a time. Without further ado, let's get right into this one. Step one, draw the arrow. Okay, so assuming that you have a blank slide, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to insert, you want to go to shapes, and you want to click on this shape right here. It's called the arc. Click on that, hold shift, and just drag it out to the right like so. You will have something that looks like this. You're concerned with this yellow point right here. That's all you want to use, okay? You just want to drag this out to the left until you get a semicircle shape. It doesn't have to be a perfect semicircle shape, but it has to be a semicircle shape. Now click on the shape, click on format, click on shape outline, click on weight, and then click on more lines. When you're done, you'll see a lot of options on the right here that you can take advantage of. But for right now, I just need you to focus on one, which is the width. Change the width to seven. And then change the color of the outline to whatever color you'd like. I'm using this color right here. I'm just gonna close that box over there. Now what I wanna do is I wanna to go to insert, I wanna to go to shapes, and then I'm gonna draw out a triangle, something that looks like this. Nothing too big or nothing too small. This triangle will serve as our arrowhead for the shape over here. We're going to change the shape color and we're going to remove the outline. And then we're just gonna rotate it until we get something that we're satisfied with. So I'm pretty satisfied with this. I think that looks great. Now, group up everything, press on Control G, and just move it to the left of the slide like so. I think this is perfect. And that is step one completed. Step two, draw one segment of the roadmap. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna go to insert, go to shapes, and then click on the circle. Draw out a circle that looks like this. Nothing too big, but nothing too small either. Click on the circle and position it just underneath the arc and then move it downward so that the top part of the circle is just about hitting the same height as the top part of the arrowhead over here. So I'm gonna keep going down until I get something that looks like this. This is actually perfect. Then I'm gonna click on the circle over here, click on format and then go to shape fill, no fill. And then I'm just gonna change the color of the outline to this light purple color that we have over here. One note on colors before I go on. Be sure that you choose a color that's different than the arrow that you have drawn just above the circle over here. And the reason why is because it allows us to sort of interpret the data much more effectively than we would if everything is the same color. Do you know what I mean? So click on the circle now, click on shape outline, click on weight and click on six points. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna to go to insert, you wanna to go to shapes, click on the rounded rectangle option over here and just draw it out like this. Just make that a bit smaller actually. And I think that looks perfect actually. I'm gonna remove the outline and change the color to the same color as my shape. And then I'm gonna click on both of them like so. And I'm going to go to home, arrange, align, and then align center to make sure everything's perfectly aligned. And I'm gonna move them both so it looks perfectly underneath the arrow, which is something like uh, this. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna add the number one over here and change the font of that to Panton Black Caps, and I think that looks absolutely stunning. Step three, draw out the rest of the roadmap. All right guys, here comes the fun part. Hi everything and press on Control G to group it up. Then what you wanna do is you want to press on Control Shift and just drag it to the right over here. And that way you have two identical copies of the same set of shapes. With this group still selected, 
click on arrange, click on rotate, and then flip vertical. Now, I know that your number one is upside down. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that right now. Click only on the rounded rectangle, then go to arrange, rotate, and then flip vertical. And that way your number's the right way back up. Before we go on, let's just change the color so it makes things easier for us. So I'm just gonna change this to a red color, and I'm gonna do the same for this one over here. And now, it's just a matter of positioning. I'm gonna move this just underneath the arrow over here until we get this little curvy effect, right? So then I'm just gonna highlight everything, press on Control G, press on Control Shift, and just move it to the right and just repeat the exact same effect. Now I understand that it could be a bit too big and you might have something that looks like this where a lot of your shape just goes off the grid. That's fine. Highlight everything, press on Control G to group it up and then just resize it. Easy as that until you get something that you're satisfied with. So this I think looks absolutely perfect. Well, it actually does look perfect, almost too perfect. So that is completed. Before we go on, let's just change the numbers. So I'm just gonna change this to a number two. I'm gonna change this to a number three. I'm gonna change this to a number uh, four. I'm gonna change this to a number five. I'm gonna change this to a number six. And that is the third step done. Step four, add the text and icons. Let's talk about icons before we go into this step. I understand a lot of you don't actually have this icons button in your PowerPoint software. If you do, great. If you don't, don't worry. SlideCow has covered a video that shows you three awesome techniques that you can use to bring any icon you'd like into your PowerPoint slide, making them fully customizable. To watch that video, just click on the info button on the top right of this video right here. Now let's get back into this step. The first thing you want to do is you want to bring in the icons. I'm going to use these icons you see on the left here just to save time on the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this mobile phone and I'm just going to center it right in between this circle. This takes a bit of practice, of course. And then I'm just going to use this over here. And then it's me using this one just for number three. Pick that up a bit. And then I'm going to be using this document over here for number four. And then this suitcase for number five. And yeah, the stop off for number six. Perfect. Now it's just a matter of us adding the text. So what you want to do is you want to go to insert, click on text box and just draw anything out over here. I'm just going to be using random text like you see over here, but obviously you're going to use whatever text that you think is necessary for this roadmap. So I'm just going to change the font size to 12 and I'm going to justify the text and now it just comes to resizing. So I'm just going to resize it in accordance to the rectangle that we set out earlier. And I'm just going to bring this up over here just like that. And I think that looks pretty damn awesome. So when we're done with that, we're going to do the same thing for number two. I'm just going to hold on control and just drag this out over here. Now I understand that the text over there is overlapping. That's fine. Don't worry about that for now. Just resize it a bit. Perfect. Okay. Now highlight everything and just bring it downwards. Press the down key just a couple of times, just like that. And now we can continue. So. I'm going to press a control shift and just bring that out to the right over here. So it hits number three and then control shift again and hit out to number five. And then I'm going to move this to number four, just over here. And then number six, just over here. And it's just a matter of us fine tuning. So just to make sure that everything is perfect. And I think fine tuning is actually quite important. That's why I didn't speed it up. You guys have to fine tune everything just to be sure it's all perfect. You don't want to make sure that one part of your design is perfect and the other side of your design just looks, you know, a bit, um, a bit odd, really. Once you're all done, let's highlight everything just now. Press on Control G, drag it downwards into the center of the slide, and we are done, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, look how cool it is. It's awesome, and you guys are awesome, and we're all awesome in this together. Guys, I can't thank you enough for the amount of support we've received so far. Thank you so much for the 2,000 subscribes. 
We're on to the 3000 now. We can do this together. I will see you in the next one. This is Yo-Yo signing off. Bye-bye, guys.